Hi, today on Catherine Learn Stuff, I'm going to walk you through making these cute birthday number cupcake toppers. So let's jump in. So it's that time of year again when birthdays are coming up. So I need to design some cupcake toppers for birthdays. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to pick out a font from my available fonts and pick out some numbers that I need for some upcoming birthdays that we have. And each sort of number is going to be its own entity just so that I can play with them better later. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to make the same design on all of them to make it look pretty. But the concept is the same no matter what number you're using when making cupcake toppers. And the first thing that I like to do is select the number that I'm working with. And I'm going to add an offset feature to each number just to give it a little bit of definition. Since this is going to be done in cardstock, it'll add more volume to the design. And I'm going to add in some shapes here. So I'm going to add some stars in because I like stars. And what better way to celebrate a birthday than to be a star? So I have two stars, one on top of another. I'm going to actually rotate the top star by 180 degrees so that it faces the other direction. And I'm going to pull it down just a little bit so that I have a fancy star. And I'm going to combine these and weld it together. And now I have a star and this is going to go behind my number. So I'm going to bring it to the back and lock my size so that it stays symmetric. And I'm going to increase it just about there. So there's my number. I'm going to do that. I'm going to duplicate that for five times so that I've got one for each number. So there I have my six numbers. I'm going to pull them apart from each other so that they can look a little bit better. I don't need to center them on the canvas here because I have to cut these all out in different card stock. Um, but this gives me an idea of what it's going to look like. Quickly what I'm just going to do is I'm going to change my numbers to be different color because I'm going to want them all to be the same color. I'm going to use this sparkly blue so I'm just going to use this to represent it. And this dark gray color, I'm actually going to print out in black so that it looks a little bit more poppy. I might actually consider just to see how this looks. I'm going to offset this extra bit and I'm going to change that color to white just to see what it looks like and bring it forwards. It doesn't look too bad. I actually change this to black to give me a better idea. I kind of like the way that that looks. I'm going to make this star a little bit bigger though. I like the way that that looks. So that's sort of what I'm going to be shooting for. So I need to just you know, delete these extra stars here. I don't need them. So I'm going to duplicate the larger one and offset these other ones. That actually looks better with the reverse color, so I'm going to revise these and go white and black instead. The nice thing about doing this beforehand is that I don't have to waste paper if I don't like my color combinations. Okay, so I've got my design done. I can always add more design features to this um, to give the cake topper more volume and more depth. Um, I could add circles or more stars 
if I wanted to, but for keeping it simple, I think this is good enough and there's no point to overstretch the design. It uh, will take longer if I do more on the design side and on the cutting and assembling side. The one last thing I want to do before I send this to cut is I want to check the size of each star combination. Keeping in mind that cupcakes are small, I really don't want this to be much larger than two inches just because two inches gives a good size. I can go as far as two and a half, um, but if it's too big, it's gonna be bigger than the cupcake. And so long as my numbers are within my star, when I reduce the size, they'll stay proportionate to my project. And now I just need to send it to make it so that it gets cut out. So I've sent all my pieces to cut on my Cricut and I got my white backings here my black backings and I've also got my sparkly blue so I'm not a fan of doing numbers in cardstock because they come apart so for now I'm gonna leave them on my cutting board so that I can deal with them later So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to match up my pieces so that I know what number is going where. So I'm going to glue on the, the white onto the black first. After that, I'm going to glue on top of this and then I'm going to glue on the numbers. I don't like dealing with numbers so I like to deal with them last because I find that they move around the most. I like to use my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue for two reasons. It dries nicely but it comes with this cool little set of pieces and I find that this one here with the almost needle point is the best one for working with cardstock. So just put my end piece on here, switch my lid, and we're ready to go. Also this stuff dries really nice and dry quickly and it leaves no marks on my design. Now since I'm gluing onto glitter paper, I find it's a little bit harder for it to stick. So I like to place a book on top to give it a little bit of pressure to help it stick on properly. So we're just gonna wait for a few minutes while my book does some of the work here. Okay, so my book has pushed down my designs. So they're sticking nicely now. So the last thing to do is to put the numbers on. I'm not a fan of working with paper numbers. I prefer to use vinyl because I use transfer sheets to move it over. But as I do not have fancy blue glitter, we're gonna use just our paper. So I'm gonna use some tweezers here. I'm gonna try to. And I'm gonna put my glue on. So the nice thing with this is that this glue and this point has a nice little point so that it covers up the whole number nicely.
the last thing that we have to do now is just put our toothpicks on the back of them and then they'll be ready to go. And now we just need to wait for these to dry and I'll be ready to go. Now that the glue has dried on all of my cupcake toppers, all that's left to do is put them into cupcakes. Thanks for watching this video on making birthday number cupcake toppers. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I've listed all of the materials that I've used in the details below, as well as my website where you can access my other projects. Thanks so much for watching.